Hello everyone, today I want to talk about my Swift Dolly that I got about half a year ago but only now I finally got around to reviewing it. I want to show you what this Dolly actually is, what it comes with and what it can do. I will also show you some footage that I already shot with it. So let me now undo this box and show you what's inside. So my kit came in three bags which include the tripod, the actual Dolly and the straight track. Let me start with the tripod. The tripod, I believe, has a 75mm ball mount for a head like Manfrotto 501 or 701. You can take the spreader off to mount this tripod on a dolly. I already have a decent tripod, but if you don't have a video tripod yet, this could be a really good base for your tripod. Next up is the dolly bag, which comes with a handle and a shoulder strap. For your transportation we have the foam packaging which is very good for protection we take off the top cover and here we have the sweet dolly systems dolly right there which is very easy to assemble and i'll show it to you in a minute let me leave this one for now and i will show you the last bag which is the straight track Again, it comes in a bag with a handle and it's relatively portable. It also comes with a foam packaging and the whole straight track is fitted into there. This dolly comes with a manual, but I already assembled it so many times that I know how to do it. I think it's already all connected and I only need to connect it with one additional part. So it's a very straightforward assemble. Switch my stand now, and I only need to connect one more part. Okay, so the assemble of the track is complete. It takes no more than two minutes, and it's really straightforward. All the wheels move independently, which means you can use this dolly not only with a straight track, but with any curved track you might want to use. I've got a rubber flexible track, which I'll show you later, and this dolly works with it just perfectly. Next up, let me set up a straight track. So these are the bar ends, a key to connect everything together, and lots of bars. So my dolly is ready. It took me about 10 minutes or so to assemble the whole thing. If I had anyone helping me, it probably would be about five. So it's really not a big deal using a dolly for your shoot. I really like the DSLR sliders which are so easy to assemble and transport but assembling this dolly is really not a big deal and can be used much more often than one would think. So let me now stick a tripod on this thing and shoot some test footage. One of the big advantages of using a dolly rather than a slider is that you can really make dramatic movements. If I'm not mistaken this track is 3 meters long which is so much longer than most of the sliders you'll find on the market. Let me now try this pulling in shot and let's see what it's gonna look like. Another thing I want to show you guys is this flexible track that I also bought with my dolly. This is basically a rubber tube that can be positioned in any way to create any shape or curve. Let me show you some examples of how it can be positioned and some footage that I shot with this flexible track.
flexible track really adds a lot of possibilities to your shots. With some additional panning and tilting, you can create really incredible images. Your imagination really is the only limit. I highly recommend getting this flexible track for whatever dolly you use. So to conclude this review, I want to go through some good and bad points of using such dolly over let's say a DSLR slider. I really love the sliders and how portable they are. You can put them anywhere and you can create some really amazing images when used properly. But they are limited by the length and by the weight that they can handle. With the dolly on the other hand, you can put a lot of weight, not just a basic vehicle that I have here, but you can have a monitor, rails, follow focus, anything you want. And I think the weight actually adds more stability to this rig. Also with your dolly, your movement is only limited by the length of your track. My straight track, I think is three meters and this flexible one is also about three meters. So I can create a really strong movement that adds a lot of production value. This dolly is more expensive than your average DSLR slider, but I think it's one of the cheapest dollies that you can get. I highly recommend it, especially if you want to add some really nice shots to your productions. And if you want to check it out yourself, I'll put some links in the description bar below.